Welcome to this latest episode of Tips on a Tuesday. And in this video, I'm gonna talk you through what you can do to maximize rental income using other people's properties. My name's Liam Ryan and I am one of the co-founders of Assets for Life and welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe and the notification bell right now because every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday I release new videos teaching you how you can become financially free through property. And in just the last four years, I have raised over five million pounds in joint venture finance and I have also added 12.6 million pounds worth of property to the portfolio. And if I can do this, you can definitely do it. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can maximize income using properties that you don't even own. So people think here in the UK that in order to build a successful property business, you need lots of money, you need lots of time, lots of experience, and you need to go and get lots of property. You need to go and buy lots of property. Well, hey, I'm here to tell you right now, and I, I didn't know this over four years ago, that you can make money right here in the UK, right in your local area, using property that you don't even own. So what is the upside for this? Well, the upside is that you haven't got to go and raise big deposit pots. You haven't got to go and find investors. You haven't got to go through the whole buying process in the UK because we know when we buy assets in the UK, hey, that can take some time with solicitors and mortgages and conveyancing and vendors and property chains. So rather than waiting that time, you can get started immediately and you can start cash flowing really quickly. Many, many, many of my graduates now have got deals using other people's properties within days, weeks of attending my property training. So what the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about the amazing strategy that we know rent to rent. And you can use rent to rent in a couple of ways. Number one, you can go and convert other people's houses into HMOs, houses in multiple occupancy, or you can convert them into serviced accommodation units and you operate that property like you would on Airbnb and booking.com and you're operating it like a hotel. Now you might be thinking, why the freaking hell Liam would someone want to give me their property and let me make all this money? Well, let me tell you, most people in the UK are accidental landlords. And I read recently that only 3% of the UK are landlords and only 3% of that 3% do it on a serious level. So most people out there that are landlords, they want a hands-free experience. They don't understand HMOs, houses and multiple occupancy. They don't understand serviced accommodation. They haven't got the experience, they haven't got the time. They're accidental landlords. And really what they want is guaranteed rent. That's right. They want armchair investment, guaranteed rent, zero void, zero maintenance. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you come in. This is where you can really help and create a win-win. So what you can do is approach landlords and you can say, hey, Mr. Landlord, I know you want to rent out your property. I'm going to rent it from you on a corporate let agreement, or you can also do a management agreement. I'm going to give you guaranteed rent for, say, five or six years. The maximum you can do this is six years. I'm going to give you hassle-free investment. I'm going to give you guaranteed rent, zero void, zero maintenance. And what I need you to do is allow me to turn your property into a HMO or into serviced accommodation. Now look, if you're doing it into HMO, you've got to make sure you get a license, you've got to make sure you might need planning permission if you're more than six bedrooms, you've got to make sure you follow the rules and regulations, um, and you can check this out on your local government council website. And if you're running serviced accommodation, of course, you've got to make sure you've got the right insurances in place, and if it's apartment, you've got to make sure you've got permission from the leasehold and all this type of stuff. This is the sort of stuff that I teach you 
at my events. And this is a simple strategy. It's easy to scale. There's lots of stock out there. Hey, look, just take Kazim and Michael, for example, two of my graduates. They've been with me now just over 14 months and they've now got 15, 16 deals in the property portfolio, you know, kicking out 90, 100,000 pounds a year net profit. It's a high cash flowing model. You don't buy the asset, but what's the downside? Well, look, the downside is you don't own the asset. This is not a legacy wealth creation strategy because at some point you're going to need to give the keys back. So what is rent to rent? It's a high income replacing, a uh, high income strategy, high cash flowing strategy where you can replace your income relatively quickly. Some of my graduates have replaced their income in as little as 90 days. Many have replaced their income within the first 12 months. So what is that gonna do for you? Fast forward 90 days from today, you've got two or three of these deals in your portfolio. It's kicking you out 3,000 pounds a month. Is that enough to replace your income? Is that gonna pay off some of your bad debt? Is that gonna enhance your life? I'm sure it is. I just wanna say thanks to everyone and all of you for giving me amazing feedback in relation to this YouTube channel. I love serving my communities. Uh, I love to meet you guys. I love to help you as much as I can. So if you're watching this now and you've got a question or a comment or a share or a block, and you really would like me to help you, please put the question below and I will make sure I answer that for you personally in one of the latest up and coming videos. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, how you can maximize rental income using properties you don't even own. I bet you wish you knew this one, two, three or four years ago, don't you? This is exactly what I thought when I first got into property the right way in 2015. So thanks very much for tuning in. Somewhere around here now, you will find some more videos to watch. In my videos, I teach you how to raise joint venture finance. I will show you what it looks like to come to one of my events. So if you wanna to come to one of my events and you wanna learn how to raise joint venture finance, click the video now and I'll see you soon.